Now, just for a moment on an aside, I want to point out that a few years ago when we moved into our house, it had a smart meter, and I began to notice a problem when my six-year-old began refusing to sleep in his room at night, the window of which faced the meter on the back of our house. I would wake up and find him sleeping on the living room couch in the mornings. The meter itself was on the outside of a little sun porch that we turned into our work office, and after a couple of months, I began to notice that sitting in there made me feel hot, sometimes dizzy, I'd get headaches like I had a vice tightening around my head, and I generally began to feel like I was suffering from PMS all of the time, which, if you're a woman or you live with one, you know is like living in or with a mood-swinging nightmare banshee out of one of the blacker pits of hell after a while. We finally had an activist friend come out to our house and bring her EMF meters with her to measure what we had going on here as far as dirty electricity and EMF and all of that. They say it's every 15 minutes, by the way. That's what they say. But we had someone come in here with one of those really expensive electromagnetic frequency meters and tested the thing. And it's sending out very high pulses that come right through the windows, right through the wall probably like seven or eight times a minute, okay? So that is not every 15 minutes. And those pulses were so strong that they were, the meter itself is on the back of, the, of, our, of our house, but the pulses were so strong that even using that meter to test it by our front door, the pulse waves were coming in and shooting across the entire house. So anywhere that you would be in the path of, of this array where it's shooting out, you're going to be getting pulsed with that repeatedly all day long. And they try to say things like, well, it's way lower than the FCC standard, but again, the FCC standard is based on, what, like 40-year-old research that was done by the military, some arbitrary thing they put in. It's way lower than other countries have for safety, like, say, Russia. I think it's like a thousand times lower than the safety standard for Russia on EMF. And they say that, oh, well, your cell phone is much more dangerous. Well, that's not actually true when you consider that your smart meter is pulsing. They average it out and give you the low average of what's coming out of that smart meter. They're not t telling you about the high pulses that are coming out of there that shoot way off the charts, very harmful. And you're just being pulsed with that repeatedly, multiple times per minute, all day long and all night long while you sleep. And it was explained to us by our friend that came out here with her equipment that, you know, It'd be like being in your room and trying to sleep at night and having someone turn the light switch off and on all night long. That's the way your brain is dealing with these frequencies that are coming out of this meter.